Hey guys, my name is Scott Rock, and I'm the head of the automotive department at Jaw Drop and Customs in Corpus Christi, Texas. We do a lot of everything, and one of the most unique things about our shop is that we do not just cars, but bikes. And we've been featured in uh, automotive magazines as well as the cover of uh, American Bagger and Hot Bike. As you see here, we've got a 71 Pontiac Trans Am, a 55 Chevy, a 2002 Dodge Viper, and a 1933 Essex. Just to give you an example of uh, all the things that we do here, I know two major things we'll be looking for is an ability to speak in front of a camera and technical knowledge. All right, for my tech discussion, I want to talk about the uh, brake problem that we had on the 71 Pontiac Trans Am. After we got it all said and done, uh, doing the bare brake setup, we found that they didn't stop very well. And what the problem was, was that this uh, built motor with this roller cam did not provide enough vacuum at idle for the uh, standard street rod power brake setup that we had using a uh, vacuum brake booster and pretty much a stock GM master cylinder. So we upgraded to this 1 and 8 inch bore Willwood uh, unit. This, this is the uh, ball burnished finish and we called speed and got one of these chrome and polished uh, hydro boost setups. Now once we got all that done, the brakes were great, but we had a really bad whining problem from the pump. And what was happening is that our reservoir was too small and it was allowing a lot of aeration in the fluid. So I switched to premium ATF, which cuts down on the aeration, and I called PSC and got this uh, much larger unit that's actually designed for hydro boost setup, so it's got uh, extra outlets. And we got this uh, stainless steel brake set up from Gotta Show. Uh, great customer service, told them exactly what we had and they sent us exactly what we needed. Uh, cut everything to fit, uh, bled the brakes and the power steering and that seems to have cured our problem. Um, and that's all. All right guys, I know one of the things you're gonna be asking yourselves is, is this guy technically savvy enough to work with us? Uh, and I'd like to say that I am. Uh, here we have a selection of cars. Uh, just some of the things that we do here. I know you said welding. Uh, I built this rack using our two bender, so I can weld. Uh, this little setup here will be holding a LED light bar. Uh, rewired this whole car, swapped it from a four to a five speed, and we still yet to do the rims, put the glass in, and uh, pretty much do the touch up. Had to rebuild the winch, but that's original winch. That's how awesome worn winches are. Uh, this is a 57 Chevy Bel Air that we're doing a full build, fuel injected motor, uh, it's got a full custom frame. Uh, this is Smokey the Bandit car with a NASCAR motor. Who's ever seen that before? And this is a Lincoln Continental. Uh, just finished the back hit. Uh, we roughed in the interior, but the interior still needs to be done. And we're doing a GT500 motor, so that car is going to be sick. Uh, my personal car collection, I have a 69 AMC Javelin 394 speed car. I have a 55 T-Bird, I did a 5-speed swap, 9-inch rear end, and I'm currently doing a VS57 McCulloch Supercharger with a tricarb setup with a bonnet. Uh, I really enjoy rebuilding Hollies and doing blow-through setups, so my Holly tuning skills are pretty good. Uh, I also have a 65 Chevy C10 long bed that's bagged out. It's got a small journal 327 and a 700R4. And I also have a 55 uh, Dodge D100 with a LS1 6-speed and custom 9 and I just chopped the top four inches. Uh, that one's got a ways to go. All right, one of the great things about our shop is that, like I said, we do bikes and cars. Uh, this bike here, we actually got on the cover of American Bagger. And here is, uh, on the Viper in the back there, that car was actually in Hurricane Sandy. It was up to the dash in salt water, and it's gonna be my job to have to uh, get all that rewired and fix it all. And I don't even wanna tell you how much sand and nasty salt water was in the oil pan. But we're going to save that motor because that's what we do here and this is actually it right here back from the machine shop and not just going to rebuild it but we're going to add some horsepower probably about 200 uh, the heads here are all fully ported ready to go i just need to slap this thing together so i know you mentioned uh, the ability to rebuild motors and i can do that too last but not least i want to show you this 51 mercury uh, this is our customer's car we took it up to houston autorama and did a chop with Gene Winfield. These are his actual welds. It's amazing. And over here, this is a patch panel that he helped direct me how to make. That's my welding mixed in with his welding. So it will be sealed in with his work together forever. This car is going to be sick. All right, guys, I want to thank you for stopping by and taking a look at my video and uh, considering me for a position on the show. 
it would be a huge honor to work with you two, come to California and represent the hot rodding industry. And um, man, I just gotta say, you gotta hear this car run. This thing's awesome. This is all I do. If you wanna have a job outside of hot rodding, I just wanna hot rod. And now this is what I do. And if I can work with you guys and just further along my career and uh, fill in my dreams, that would be amazing. Nothing beats that. So, whether you consider me or not, you gotta check out this uh, jaw drop. Amazing guys, and it turned out an incredible machine. So, hopefully, I get a chance to meet you guys and work with you guys. And if not, uh, good luck with everything you do, and uh, hopefully, I'll see you guys around.